Tackled across the 20 yard line. Second down. Last chance for Notre Dame to make an argument without a conference championship game to play in. Grant Grimmel, his starting tenure at Indiana began began in similar circumstances to his starting tenure as a high school quarterback at Noblesville. As a sophomore, the starter was injured. He came into the varsity team and then made his next, his first start the following week. Here's the Spiegel again, who's crushed. And third down coming up. We have College Football Extra presented by Crypto.com. Coming up next, Mike Hill, Chris Peterson, Bruce Feldman out in Los Angeles. You almost need two shows or, I don't know, a double show with all of the action that has been across the country today. A ton of action. A ton of, I guess you would call it, upsets, right? And just a few rolling, you know? Yeah. Talk about Crypto.com College Football Extra show. 33. Out to the 30-yard line. The season began with so much promise for the Hoosiers. They were ranked in the preseason top 25 for the first time since 1969. Finished last season ranked 12th in the country. Brought Almost everybody back. Returned 10 seniors on the defensive side of the football alone. The core of the culture is still in place for Tom Allen, however. J.D. Irvin point extra on the first down. His tackle on the play by Marks, his second tackle of the game. And as the cheers grow louder, the hunt is really on now for the briefcase that contains the old oaken bucket. It's believed that the bucket dates all the way back to the 1840s. It was discovered on a farm, the Bruner Farm, in southern Indiana in the mid-1920s by delegates from the Chicago alumni groups of both schools. Jeff Brom has won his third old oaken bucket game. He gets a nice bath. This game is over. Purdue with its eighth win of the regular season, and there she is, the old Oaken Bucket. Raise it up there, fellas. Boilermakers earn it this season. Thanks for joining our broadcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Happy Thanksgiving. For Debbie Gardner, I'm Chris Fosters. Let's get you out to Mike Hill in Los Angeles.